Ah, the new year. It's all about eating healthier. So today we're going to show you two delicious ways to cook haddock. We're going to do so with personal chef Bill Collins from ChefBill.com. It's a pleasure to see you. It's great to be here. Fish. Everybody's making the resolution. I feel like oh, I'm going to eat more fish in 2015. Yep. I've done it too. So today we're going to do it in, in new and intriguing ways. Yes. And the thing about fish, a lot of people don't really think about fish because a lot of people don't like to cook fish. They're afraid of it. A lot of times they say to me, uh, I overcook the fish. What do I do? And I say, well, don't overcook the fish. Yeah. Cook because it less. Exactly. And there are a couple rules of thumb because fish is not like chicken. You don't cook it for half an hour or 45 minutes. What you do is you cook it uh, about 10 minutes for every inch of thickness of the fish. Oh, so and, and most fish is about an inch or so. Exactly. Thick. So in 10 minutes, not only is it going to cook quickly, but you can have dinner on the table quickly. So it works out really well that it's a fast meal to do. That's the first thing. The second thing is, you're right, it's incredibly healthy. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, especially when you go with most wild caught fishes, some farm fish, mostly wild caught fish. Fish, you just can have a great meal. So uh, all in all, fish is just a great way to go. And this fish we have today is? Actually, uh, although the recipe on the Mass Appeal website says uh, uh, cod, mm -hmm. I'm haddock. going with cat or haddock. I'm going with catfish today. Okay. Uh, just to show the versatility of different kinds of fishes that you don't have to just go with one kind of fish. And today, uh, the, the catfish uh, and all of the foods are from our friends at Whole Foods in Hadley. Thank you to them. And we've got some just some great things to go with today. And I'm going to be talking about two different ways of cooking fish that people don't always necessarily think of. To, yeah. to give you some variety, as not only do you eat more healthy in the new year, but try and hit one or two of the resolutions. And the first one might be a, a very healthy way to cook fish. It's poaching it. It's poaching it. And uh, what you do is you can poach fish in any kind of liquid. You can poach chicken also, but you can poach it in any kind of liquid. You can do it in water if you want, because really what you're doing is you're giving it a nice, uh, putting it in a hot water bath, and you're going to cook it through that way. And because it cooks so quickly, that's a great way to do it. Now, I've gone a bit more Asian with this one. Interesting. Okay. And so I've got some tamari, which is just like soy sauce, but it's a gluten-free equipment. Uh, there's no taste difference whatsoever. I've gone with some a uh, uh, little bit of olive oil, but I've also gone with some chicken stock as well as some white wine. And I've got in there some fresh ginger, which you can smell here. Oh, it smells great. It does. I mean, powdered ginger if you have it, but fresh ginger just gives it a it's whole. It's like a, a flavor punch. It really is. It, it gives it a zip. It gives it a little bit of a bite, and I've got a little bit of garlic. So I put some fresh garlic in there. Saute the garlic real quickly, throw in the liquids, have it come to a simmer. That's going to take you all of maybe three minutes. Huh. And put the, uh, the fish in and bring it uh, to a, a simmer and because the fish is going to cool it down. So in just a moment or two, it'll come back up, cover it, and the fish will be done in less than 10 minutes. Do you have to flip the fish or anything like that, or you, you just set it? You, you can just it. Set, it, set it and forget it. You can flip the fish if you want. I like to uh, uh, not flip it just because it kind of gives you different colors, as we'll see in a moment, mm -hmm. because it is completely uh, taking in the color of the brown liquid. So it's a little brown, a little white. It looks a little nicer. So oh, two things to remember when you do this. Uh, if you taste the, uh, the liquid before you put the fish in, it's going to have one flavor. And then taste the liquid afterwards, it's going to have another flavor because you've got just the, uh, the fish flavors that have gone in there, the cooking uh, of it. So it's going to taste a little bit differently. However, another thing to consider also is when you're done with this, take a taste uh, of the liquid before you use it as a sauce on top because it might still be a little harsh uh, from uh, the soy sauce because uh, some soy sauces are saltier. Yeah. So you can add a little more chicken stock or actually fish stock. But another thing too also, I've made this with, with chicken stock. It tastes very good with the chicken stock. You might not have fish stock. Go with chicken stock. I've never heard of fish stock before. Fish stock, uh, as you see right here, uh, you can buy it. You can make it with fish bones. Uh, yeah. If you're making a fish chowder, a fish stew, it's just great to have, just as you would buy a chicken stock. Yeah. All terrific natural ingredients. Uh, and again, from our friends at Whole Foods, it's just a, a great thing to have. And so, it's, but again, some people don't like very fishy fish dishes. So go with the chicken stock. It's going to taste great. So, Chef Bill, we have the final product here. I have the final product right here. What I did, as you can see, I mentioned not turning over uh, the, the fish. Uh, so a little bit whiter on top, browner from the liquid. And all I have here is some brown rice. I mixed in some peas. Uh, again, very healthy and flavorful. A little sauce on top. You don't have to put butter in there. Uh, it's Protein, colorful. Protein, omega-3 acids, all that good stuff. All the good stuff is going to be right there in that. And, and you can use all kinds of fish with this as well. Now, Chef Bill, if this isn't up people's alley, later in the show we're going to be making a different sort of fish. How are we going to prepare it? Uh, that uh, Roasting root vegetables, which all local vegetables, uh, and uh, roast those first. You can do those day or two ahead okay. and then just take your fish uh, a little salt pepper uh, a little uh, thyme on top 
pop it on and you put it back on top of the vegetables and you'll see it's going to come out great. I'm going to chow down. We'll show you how to do that one in just a little bit. We're back with Chef Bill Collins. Now, earlier in the show, we poached fish. Is that yes. right? Yep. And it's tasty. The recipe, mymassappeal.com. What are we doing now? Today, we're going to be baking or roasting the fish. And there are two steps to this. One of the steps, you can do a couple days ahead. And that is, I took roasted root vegetables, uh, just a very simple dish, and you can do that a couple days ahead. Roast them in the oven, and then afterwards, when it comes time to make your fish, mm -hmm. it's not even 10 minutes before you sit down at the table, you put the fish on top of the cooked vegetables, and you uh, pop in the oven, and then you're ready for dinner. It's that easy. It is that easy. Do you dress the fish or anything like that? No. Well, actually, I just throw a little olive oil, uh, some dried thyme, salt and pepper, and that's it. And you can even do that a day ahead, so when you get home, you just throw it in the oven. But here's what I did. I took uh, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and onions, mm -hmm. roasted them in the oven, salt and pepper, again, a little dried thyme on, thyme on top, about 400 degrees. This is going to take about 40, 45 minutes in the oven, give okay. or take. Your mileage may vary. Uh -huh. And then uh, pop it in the oven. I check it every 10, 12 minutes, so just turn it over so things will brown evenly. So this is the result of about 40 minutes or so in the oven. And you can see everything is cooked through. Mm -hmm. I did these uh, last night. So now, uh, today, uh, uh, for the show, I put this in the oven already, warmed them up again, mm -hmm. and so then it comes time to put the fish on. I've got the fish right here, and I've got catfish. I know the recipe we talked about uh, is for cod and haddock on the Mass Appeal website. I decided to bring in the catfish. A flakier white fish is what you need to use for exactly. recipes like this. Exactly. I'm not sure I would go with the swordfish on top with this, but uh, all kinds of fish do work well. Mm -hmm. So really, all you do, we roll around the, uh, the olive oil in there. Once these are warmed through, this could take maybe 10 minutes in the oven. Uh, you, you, you warm these through, you take your fish that's got the olive oil on it, you just put it on top. Pop it in the oven, 10 minutes later, it's done. And then, it looks something like this. It looks exactly like that. Because the reason it's only 10 minutes is uh, the, the big rule of thumb for cooking, whether you're poaching, whether you're putting it in the oven, whether you're grilling, whether you're we're broiling, mm -hmm. and that is 10 minutes of cooking for every inch of thickness of the fish. Mm -hmm. And so, what that ends up with is you can see it's herbed, a uh, nice couple pieces of fish on top, you've got the vegetables, you're good to go. Dinner is ready and you can do so much ahead of time. You walk in, you're going to spend more time actually preheating the oven to get it ready <laughs> than actually say. spend time in there cooking. But is that simple to do? It's so simple. And it is. And this hits all the New Year's resolutions as well. Uh, I would say total, if you have one and a half tablespoons of olive oil on that, and you're talking about four portions, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a lot. So you don't need that much uh, on there. And then uh, you've got the fish, you've got all the great root vegetables, and you're good to go. This one that we made earlier, that was again the poached fish. Both of these recipes are going to be on the website, but yes. so healthy. It's incredibly healthy because again, uh, very little oil in that, just the fish, some soy sauce, some white wine. Uh, and the rice, no butter or anything in, in, in the fish, and it's very filling. You're not going to leave the table hungry because you're going to have good sized portions with us. Chef Bill, always a pleasure, and you can tune in next week for even more Chef Secrets with the man, the legend, Chef Bill. <laughs> if you want a copy of this recipe, just head to mymassappeal.com later today.